Hey, yeah, I'm Armin from Placid, and in this video, we will learn how to send emails inside of Airtable automations. Airtable makes sending emails super accessible. And if you already have your client database inside of an Airtable, why not send emails also out of it? From personalized content like images or videos to attaching files like PDF invoices, Airtable is great at sending emails. Let's check out together how to set it up. As preparation for this video, I've created a simple Airtable base with just one row, which has a name, an email, uh, an image, and a PDF attachment. This, are the test, this is the test data that we're going to use in our email automation. To create an automation, we just switch at the top here to the Automations tab. There we will pick when the record matches the condition. Uh, it doesn't really matter which trigger I'm picking here as I will just show you the, the send email action and we are going to send previews out of there and you can plug it like uh, into any flow that, that you like in the end. I just show you the options that we have inside of this action. We're going to add uh, send email. Now the send email action is, is very straightforward. You can already jump in and, and pick uh, who will receive this email. We can find this. Oh, we have to fill out the, this step first. Table one. The condition would be when name is not empty. I, I'm just picking random stuff. So I'm able to test the step and choose a record and jump to the next one. So just ignore this. But now at this step, I should be able to have some fields, yes. Uh, the two fields should be the email address that I've defined in my Airtable base. And under more options, you can see CC, BCC, you can have a from name. The from name is, is the written name that, that you can have as, a, as the from address. So for example, this could be classic support. And the reply to would there be the email address someone replies to if he hits reply. So let's also take support at placid.app. As a subject, we take here is your email. And now in this message, we have uh, the ability to use a little bit of markdown and a few HTML tags, uh, but nothing fancy. Let's start just by setting here. Yeah. This is the email you wanted. Best Placid team, Placid support. Right. And of course, since it's Airtable and we are working with data, this is the place where we will make this email and the text personalized and dynamic. So after the greeting, we can add another field take the name here so this will always be hey yeah and name and then the rest of the email and we can just generate the preview without sending it i think yeah there it is this is how it would look uh, the sender name as we defined would be placid support people would be replying to support at placid.app we have our subject and we have a dynamic email it's pretty cool right Super easy and uh, uh, pretty cool to, to get started with sending emails. Sadly, the email sent via Airtable will always have uh, the Airtable footer and, and, and this styling at the moment. Um, I think you cannot change it, maybe, maybe in higher plans, but I, but I wasn't able to, to figure out if you can remove this. So if you need something more branded, you, you'd have to switch to another provider, but, but to get you started with emails, uh, this should be totally fine. And so as our next step, uh, we'd like to use a little bit of HTML, like to have an inline image so we can personalize the email even more. Let's see in our base, uh, I'll do this later. Um, I've also supplied an image here, which would be like the, a personalized, a personalized offer image for for this user, and this is the image that he should receive inside of his email. 
let's head back into our send email action and let's switch this text to this is the offer that you wanted and now here we can write manually an, an image tag so like so and let's. and as the source of the image we can just pick a field again for example this email image generate the preview now we have a full size image Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy to, to, to have also images inside, inside of the content of the email. Just an image tag is, is all you need. I think we should be able to make it a bit smaller if we say the width is like 300 pixels. Yeah, quite nice. And now to attachments. Of course, Airtable email can also send attachments. It's easy as just selecting a field where we have an attachment inside of it. That's all we need to do. I've prepared it. Let's switch back to data. There we see I've, I've added an email attachment, which is just uh, a PDF of an event ticket. And let's head back into automations, send an email. Here we go to attachments. Then we pick it. This would be just the field email attachment. We click generate and there would be the attachment. Now we'll do a real test, I think. Run this configured, run test. And now we should have received this email. Yeah, and there it is. <laughs> we have our custom text uh, with, with uh, a dynamic field inside of it, a dynamic image that's also coming from our Airtable text and also a PDF attached to our email. As you can see, the PDF takes the file name out of the attachment I, that I have uploaded into the Airtable. So if you want a different text uh, uh, as a file name, you have to rename it first, upload it into your Airtable and it will work then. I think this was it for this video. Um, I hope it was helpful for you. And if you have any ideas what I could do next, or, or if you have any questions on, on what you can do or how you can do something inside of an email, uh, I'm happy to help you and have a great day. Bye. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.